What's up, YouTube? You already know the flip it is, bro. Now, I know you're seeing the freaking title of this video, and you're sitting there thinking to yourself, like, yo, Dylan, uh, <laughs> where's the reaction? You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be losing weight dancing, Dylan. What the hell you do? What, what you doing? Huh? What, what, what the hell going on up in here? I just would like to let you guys know that from this point on, uh, I'm stopping the reaction parts of my videos, and I know I done lost, like, 5, 10, 15 subscribers because of that, but, um, that's alright, um, I know some of you guys subscribe because of my reactions and stuff, but, um, I don't know, man, lately I've been feeling like the last reaction I did, um, Kalani, for Kalani's album, um, part of me felt like it was forced, part of me felt like, I don't know, I wasn't, you know, having fun like I, I'm used to, you feel me? Like, I was so, I was more amped up to give you guys a review of the album, more so me dancing and freaking doing the same stupid ass dance moves repeatedly and doing the, you know, just doing the same stuff. And basically for me, it, it, it was getting repetitive. And um, I know you guys enjoyed it, but I can't freaking do it anymore, okay? I'm not going to sit here and force myself to, you know, entertain you guys and force myself to come on camera and say, all right. Let, let, let's start dancing, you know, let's start chucking and jiving, you feel me, like, I, I, I don't want that, I want my videos and whatever I choose to do on my channel to be as genuine and as real as possible, alright, and if me stopping the reactions, you know, give me the feel that, okay, I know I'm doing something right, I know you guys are still liking the videos and still enjoying this stuff, then that's all that freaking matters to me, alright, so, um, if you stay, you know, um, I appreciate you if you leave. It was nice having you. Um, but yeah, from now on, when it comes to music, whether it be a song, whether it be an album, whatever, um, I'll be doing my reviews. And um, this also gives me more things to implement, you know, within my within me giving uh, reviews. You know, I can do more things with that. So um, I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for more reviews and stuff like that. And um, I hope you guys enjoy tonight's video. All right. So um, thanks. All right, man, now that we got all that lovey-dovey stuff out the freaking way, my son, Sean Don, Sean Don, I do it, boy. My son, Sean Don, Big Sean Don, dropped his, fi finally dropped the album, I decided. And at first, I was thinking to myself, you know, I feel like, I feel like when this album drop is going to be kind of like Views, you know, because Views was very overhyped, and when Views dropped, it was just a eh, you feel me? And I felt like that's the same thing that was going to happen with this, you know? And um, I said to myself, you know what? Let me not let me not think like that, you know? Let me actually give this album a chance. Bro, after listening to this freaking album, all I got to say is, when the next one coming out? When, when, 20, when 2088 dropping, huh? When, when, when that dropping, when, when the next Big Sean album drop, cause I want to freaking know, this is a complete different, uh, a completely different Big Sean from, let's say, uh, the freaking finally famous days. You feel me? This is a complete different Big Sean because his mindset has changed so drastically and it's freaking awesome. Honestly, like I, I, I feel more in tune with this Big Sean than Let's say uh, the Big Sean from uh, Hall of Fame. You feel me? Like I, Hall of Fame, by the way, was was trash. The, let's just put that out there. That was, whoo. Um, but with this album, bro, he talks a whole bunch about like, uh, just, just, just things on a more spiritual level. You feel me? Like he's in a different mind. He's in a different. Uh, state of mind than he was let's say years ago you feel me like uh with songs let me see I, 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 let me bring up one i feel like with this album big sean is in a different mind space than he was years ago you know um he, he's more he's more in tune with his spiritual side than he was before you know because a lot a lot of what he talks about he says um matter of fact one of the lyrics he says he says um i feel like i sent my prayers up and god blessed me back you feel me like a whole bunch of, um, you know, spiritual level, spiritual thinking, if, if you would, you know, and um, I, I really freaking love that Um, on tracks like uh, uh, what, what voices in my head stick to the plan. 
um tracks like uh jump out the window you know it, it, it's great freaking stuff man um i i would say the features on this was freaking amazing um migos killed it as as well the dream caught me off guard because normally you know yeah, yeah I, last song i heard from the dream what um i uh, what uh Shawty is a teen, hey, a teen, shawty you a teen, that's like the last song I heard from the dream, so it was kind of cool to see him back on a, on a track or whatever, and um, yeah, his verse was, his verse was alright, the Flint Chosen Choir and Stara, um, I freaking love that daggone feature, and then, and then, oh, oh, can't forget, can't forget sexy ass Janae Aiko, even though it was a freaking interlude, her voice does things to my freaking body, yo. I swear to goodness. There are also features on this album like uh, Eminem and Jeremiah, which I freaking loved. Eminem had some real questionable freaking lyrics right there. He had some real questionable stuff. Talking about he got eyes like a rape. Yo, boy, that was some su Yo, some suspect ass stuff was said in that damn verse. But, you know, Eminem killed it as always. But, um, I would like to say that if I had, you know, to give this... Out out of a ten, I give it like a seven point five out of ten. Um, I know I know some people are gonna be like a seven point five. Ah, what? What the hell you talking about? Ah, you know you are gonna do all of that, but that's okay. Um, leave up in the comment section what you thought about this album. But um, all in all, I freaking loved. I love the album, man. Um, I love this part. I love this version of Big Sean. You know, let's compare this big this Big Sean to. Um, let's say, fin finally famous or or Hall of Fame, you know, it's, it's, or 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 even um the last album, um, what's a freaking uh d Paradise, right? I think that's what it's called, or is it Dark Sky Paradise? Something with a paradise, and it it's freaking awesome. But let's compare this Big Sean to his previous works. You know, it's a complete different person, and I f I love it. You know, um, I could see myself listening to this album a whole bunch. You know, um, one of the tra oh shoot, I'm sorry, Pop Filter, I freaking love you. Please do not hurt me. Um, one of the <laughs> one of the um, damn it, I don't like when it does that. Okay, you good, sexy? Stop playing with me. A couple of the tracks that I really like, kind of resonated with, were um, Oh Me, Inspire Me, uh, Halfway Off the Balcony, Voices in My Head, Stick to the Plan, uh, Bigger Than Me. Um, just, just a whole, just a, moves, boy. I got the moves. I got the moves. She make that back move. <laughs> like, yo, I, I, there, there, there are tracks on this that I know a lot of people can relate to. And there are tracks on this album that I know a lot of people could, you know, dan dance to and turn up to, you know. And what the hell is that? Oh, I'm tripping. But nah, man, um, I really did enjoy this album. But um, I would give this a 7.5. You guys, like I said, leave up in the comment section what you thought about this album. Um, what didn't you like about the album? The only thing I kind of didn't like about this album was um, the feature with Janae. The feature with Janae Aiko. Why the hell was that so damn short? You feel me? Uh, why was that a freaking interlude? Like I wanna, I wanted to fight Big Sean for that. Okay, well, why? Like. <laughs> My mind is just sitting there telling me like, hey, yo, Dylan, do you, you hearing this shit? You, you hearing this? And I'm talking to myself like, yo, bro, I, I know I'm hearing it. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting the pieces together and I'm trying to figure out why was this track so damn short? I know y'all got the full track in your damn whatever, where, in your freaking, uh, MacBooks. Okay, Janae Aiko and Big Sean, y'all better stop playing with me because I won't find that track. Okay, and it, it, I know y'all making uh 2088 part two. I know that's coming out, and it's I can't wait for that. But listen, let me let me let me let me can I can I talk? Can I can I be real for a second? Janae Iko, I know you with Big Sean, right? I I I get it. I understand it. I know he eat the booty like groceries. I get it. But you gotta understand, yo. Your voice gives me goosebumps. Okay. Like, legit goosebumps. Like, you make me blush, yo. And you, y'all see my skin complexion. We don't blush, bruh. We don't. Well, okay, we probably do. You can't say the shit, but that's not the point. Shout out Janae Aiko for being freaking amazing. Let me let me get back on topic. Um, 
like I said, man, um, I thoroughly enjoyed this album. Not really much I, you know, had problems with, in my opinion. Um, I did give this a 7. Po- you know what? I take that back. I, gi- I give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. You know, only reason why it's not a 10 out of 10 is because of Eminem's questionable ass freaking bars. Okay, questionable ass freaking bars, man. I still love you, though. But, <laughs> but um... Uh, if you guys enjoyed today's video, do make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Join the squad. Um, thank you for everything, and I hope you guys enjoy the new changes on the channel. Also, my next uh, couple videos are going to be my reviews to uh, Sid's new album. Um, well, I think that's her debut album. Sid's new album. Um, SZA. Her freaking album. A sexy ass. My heart just skipped a freaking beat because she is so freaking beautiful. Why Why are there so many amazing women in the freaking music industry that don't get freaking respect or knowledge or recognition? Sister, if you're watching this, I love you. But, um, yeah, stay tuned for more reviews, guys. And um, stay tuned for more on the channel, man. So, without further ado, I think that calls it a video, right? We got anything else to say? No? You're right. Yeah, I, I talk to myself from time to time. You know, I it's not like I got the... Voices in my head, you know, but but I I always make sure to stick to the plan and make these videos, you know. That was a corny ass joke. I'm I, later, y'all.